Hey everyone, Kylie at Games Unlimited. Today I want to show you Coralia. This game is from r and it came out earlier this year, and the first thing you will notice, which drew my eye to the game, are all of these gorgeous dice. They kind of look like gumdrops. These are custom dice. They have uh, images printed on each side, so it's not a standard D6. When I saw this, that's what drew me to it. I said, how do you play this game? How does this work? Well, it's actually a bit of a worker placement game or a dice allocation game. The recommended age on this is 10 and up. I've played it with my six-year-old. I think it, it works with kids, but it's also a great sort of a filler game for adults that can be played in about half an hour, pretty easy to set up. What you're doing is on your turn, you're gonna have four dice and you're gonna roll them. Now, after you roll them, you place them in this little, this cool little dice tray, this, this ROV, I think they call it. And you're gonna choose one of these dice. The color is gonna determine which of the coral reefs it can go on, there's six of them. And the symbol on it determines what you're gonna do with it. So I might take this green fish, place it on the green fish area. I can do that because there wasn't a die there. Now, in the future, no one else can place a green fish, so you're blocking off that spot. The fish is going to let me draw a couple of fish cards. These are the fish, this is the fish pile, and I'll choose one of them to keep. The fish are one of the ways you get points in the game. It's a set collection. The more different types of fish you get, the more points you'll get. But what's going to happen now is I've, I've taken my choice. I pass this to the next player who chooses another color of dye. May, and there'll be reasons to choose certain colors, but let's say they choose blue. So they're going to add a blue to this, but now they have to roll them all. So they don't get to keep whatever I rolled from last time. They're just going to have the same color choices. So these are rolled. And so now maybe I can take, oh, well, let's take this purple uh, clam shell, oyster shell. That's gonna get you a pearl. Let's you draw uh, two pearl cards to add to your hand, okay? Now the pearls, at the end of the game, you're gonna add up the total amount of pearl points you have. The player with the most pearl points is gonna get to score their highest four. Second most gets to score their highest two. Everyone else can only score one of their pearl cards. So there's a bit of a race there for that. Once again, you take these, pass it to the next player who's gonna choose a color to add. Let's say I'll add yellow. Roll the dice, make a choice. So I'm gonna go over some of the other things. We talked about the fish and the uh, oysters there, the pearls. You've also got the scuba divers. These are fun. When you place a scuba diver, you'll get to take your player token, say I'm yellow, and place him there. What that's doing is you are uh, searching that reef. At the end of the game, you're gonna get points based on how many dice have been placed on that reef. So by putting a scuba diver there early, you're sort of claiming and hoping more red dice get placed because it's gonna give you points. Or maybe you wait and place your diver later in the game on a reef that already has points. But you also have a reason to move. So you only have one diver, but if you're already on a reef, and you play, say I play this yellow uh, scuba diver, I can move my diver over to this reef and in so doing, take the treasure chest that was on the reef I was at and it's gonna have a special bonus on it. In this case, I would get to draw a fish card. Other things, the turtles, one of my favorite parts of the game because they remind me of the turtles from Finding Nemo. So if you play a turtle die, let's say I got a red turtle here, you will get the bonus this particular bonus means I get to roll a white die and place it on whatever color I want. But the cool thing about the turtles is once you've taken one, you put it in front of you with this side up. That lets you save a die. So when the dice come to you from the last player, say, so you hand me this, I think to myself, you know, I'd really like to use that purple fish. I can hold on to it and I don't have to roll it when I roll everything else. So I roll everything else, put them up here, and then get to add the purple fish. I can use it if I want to, or I can use something else that I've rolled. A couple other little things in the game that are fun. You've got octopus, octopi that you can put out that are gonna give you points when other people place octopi on the board or give you points if people can't use a die. Because as the game goes on, you can imagine this board is gonna get filled. You're gonna end up with turns where nothing that you roll can be used. When that happens, you're gonna get to draw some cards as a little special bonus, but 
whoever owns the octopi in that reef of the die you got rid of is going to get some bonus points. So it's a great little game, easy to learn, plays in about half an hour. Like I said, it feels like just a great little filler when played with adults, can also be played with kids. I think this one's not getting nearly uh, the, the press that it deserves. I think just looking at those gorgeous dice are going to make you interested in it. It's a fairly inexpensive game. I'll have a link. You can purchase it on our e-commerce store for curbside pickup right now. That's Coralia from R&R Games. I'm Kylie at Games Unlimited, and as always, go play some games.